Welcome to the next video in the command line basics series. In the first video we looked at just sort of moving around from the command line uh, within a file structure and today we're going to actually look a little bit more at actually working with the files themselves. So we're going to be doing um, copy, move, and delete, um, renaming, uh, and just sort of play around a little bit and figure out what you can do with the files that are already there to start off here real quick so I am in my terminal window uh, at the command line and uh, I just want to review some stuff real quick from the first video so uh, the first thing that we have is PWD where I am um, and then uh, I can actually move around so change directory CD I'm gonna CD into my Drupal directory and then LS to list the contents uh, of this directory so I can see what I'm working with the, the uh, directory I want to work with uh, today is that the stuff folder that's here. Um, and the first important, important command whenever doing any stuff here is to learn how to make a copy of something. So instead of actually messing with this, I'm going to do the CP command, which is for copy. I'm going to copy my stuff folder to another folder and then just play with that. So if I mess everything up, it's fine. I'm not actually going to destroy any of my stuff. So um, put the name of the folder I want to copy and then I put the name of the new folder after that after space and you'll notice um, it didn't actually do it in a, it's giving me a little message here because uh, I kind of messed up so stuff is a directory uh, and whenever you're working with directories um, oftentimes the command line would like you to work recursively so you have to put a dash R so I'm going to do CP space then dash and then R to say copy this recursively so not just the top thing but all the stuff inside so now I do the same thing, put the name of my folder, stuff, and then the name of the new folder that I'm copying it to, which is going to be more stuff. And now that time worked, and when I do my ls, you can see I now have a stuff and a more stuff folder, and they have identical contents in them now. So copy is sanity, so most important thing to learn. So I'm going to go into more stuff and we're going to sort of work in here. Um, this is my ls. These are all the crazy just random files that I have in my more stuff folder now. First thing I'm going to do here is, to help organize is actually make a new folder. Uh, you do that by doing a make dir, make directory. So mkdir is saying make a folder for me and then give the folder name. So I've just made a new folder called stats. And so when I do my ls, you'll see I have stats. If I do a uh, ls dot dash al to get more detail, uh, when you look at this, you can see it has the d, if you remember from the first video, um, which is telling me it's a directory rather than a file. So I created my new folder. It's that simple. Done. So now I can actually, uh, you know, get some stuff into that um, to help organize this crazy. So I can go ahead and copy uh, a file, and I'm going to copy uh, one of these stats. Um, Drupal January, there we go. Um, I'm going to copy that into my stats folder, so file name and the folder I want it to go. And when I do the ls, now you'll notice that the that Drupal January uh, file is still in my more stuff folder. Um, it's also, if I go into the stats folder, uh, it's in there as well. So I copied it, um, so it didn't remove it, it just actually made a copy of it. Um, which isn't exactly what I wanted to clean up. So if I go back up, I'm now in my, you know, that more stuff folder rather than stats, I want to get rid of this, um, this file from here since I've already copied it to the other location. So to uh, get rid of stuff, you remove, which is RM. So if I want to remove a file, uh, delete it, it's going to go bye byes, um, then I can just uh, do my RM command with the file name. And boom, it's gone. When I do my ls, it's not here, but it is still in the stats folder because I just copied it over there, right? So um, now that was sort of annoying to have to copy and then remove. And there is a better way to do that using the move command, which is mv. So instead of copying and removing, I'm just going to move and do an mv for the other file, uh, which is Drupal Downloads January. So I will move that into my stu uh, stats folder, right? So that's the folder. And now when I do the ls, that one's gone. It actually removed it and put it into stats for me. So um, so move, copy, remove. Those are the, the three basic commands we'll be looking at. We'll play with them a little bit more. Okay, so let's uh, pop 
back up to uh, the more stuff folder here. So I'm back up there. And um, the next thing I want to do is uh, look at moving a file uh, up out of this directory. Um, I have this Drupal usability thing and I actually have a usability folder um, that's a sibling of more stuff. Um, and just like we did when we were doing CD in the first video, I can just use um, that dot dot for moving in my directory. So I can move the, f the usability file that's here, dot dot go up one directory slash put it into the usability folder. Uh, and I can go ahead and do that. Uh, and that will move me, you know, up and out. So the same things that you're using for CD to move around directories, you can also use with things like the move and copy commands as well. Um, and you can see it's now gone, took it out of the directory for me, which is awesome. So we're cleaning up. To keep the uh, cleanup motion going here, what I want to do now is move this stats folder up and out of here because it doesn't need to stay in this, this stuff anymore. So I can use uh, move command uh, with folder just like a file put uh, the uh, MV, the folder name, and then a dot dot to move up a directory. Um, notice I'm not using a dash R for recursive, like I needed to with copy and remove. Move uh, works fine without that. It's just going to move the whole folder, so you can see it's gone from here. If I move back up, you can now see that stats is a sibling of more stuff. So move works the same either way. Um, let's go back into more stuff here and keep cleaning up. Um, the next thing that I want to do is I'm going to create a junk folder of just real junk. So let's uh, do make dir, uh, mkdir, uh, name of the folder is junk because it's just random stuff. I have my new folder here now. Uh, and let's move some stuff in there. I've got some stuff that's just old. So like the cheat sheet from 4.7, I don't really need that anymore. So I'm going to move that cheat sheet into my new junk folder. Um, and then uh, let's see what else do we have. We have um, I have some stuff that's let me clear this up so you can see it again. Okay, at the top we have a 2003 and a 2005 uh, files. I don't need those either. So I'm going to move those. And but I can use a wildcard. So they both begin with 2000 and then the rest. So I can use a wildcard asterisk and all files that start with 200 will get moved. So when I do that. Uh, you can see now they are both gone at the same time. Going to junk, they're both here. So you can also use that asterisk as a wildcard, either at the beginning or at the end, um, which comes in handy if you have a lot of stuff, especially like, say, file names, if I wanted star.jpegs. All right, so let's go back up here to more stuff. There's my junk folder. Um, I don't really need a junk folder. It's trash, so let's just actually remove the whole thing. So I'm going to remove junk. Um, and again, I, I need this recursive thing I mentioned uh, before um, with copy, is that uh, it, it's, since it's a directory, it wants to be specifically told to do this recursively so that I know what I'm doing. So rm r junk, and it is gone. While we've been moving stuff around, one thing we haven't looked at is how to actually rename a file. Um, so let's let's see how you actually just, I just want to rename it, I don't actually want to move it or copy it anywhere, right? Um, and so I have this file up here, it's got a lot of spaces, dash, it's just sort of a funky name, I want it shorter and more compact. Um, now you might think that there's like a rename command, like rn or something, and um, that's not true. Um, what we're going to do is actually use the move command uh, to move a file from one name to another. So I'm going to move this file, and you can see these spaces, like on the command line, you have to do a backslash and a space, it's just sort of a mess on the command line. So I want to get rid of that. So I'm going to move uh, that file to this file, so it's essentially just going to rename it. Um, uh, but this will be a nice shorter name. Uh, that'll be easier for me to type out. And so now when I do my ls, you can see um, that totally got changed uh, from that long big thing with lots of spaces in, into the just this little file name. That's the simple thing with rename. It's a little confusing because you're moving a file and all you're doing is really changing the name in it. Um, but handy, works really quickly and easily. Good to know. Okay, quick review of the commands that we have played with. Um, CP is copy. Um, if you're working with a folder, then you need to do the dash R for recursive. Uh, and then we have MV for actually moving rather than copying, so that will actually completely 
to switch the location. And then we have remove, which is deletion. Uh, so RM, and then again, if you have a folder, you have to do that recursively with that dash R. Make dir simply gives you a new folder. Um, it's pretty straightforward. And um, that's pretty much the commands we've looked at. Uh, we have CD, we have LS from the earlier ones. Um, and I'm going to clean myself up here. Um, and so what I want to do is go ahead and remove that stats folder I made. And I'm going to remove the more stuffs folder I made um, so that I can just return back to my, my regular sane stuff folder. So that's it for this video, and uh, next time we'll be looking at playing around with ownership and permissions of files and such wonderful things as that. Thanks a lot, and see you next time.